Welcome back to Summit County. You're watching Summit Sunrise this morning here on TV8 Summit. I'm Lauren. I'm now joined by Steph from Copper Mountain. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm great. Good. We have a little bit of fresh snow out there. Great day to hit the slope. We do. It's, it's been a little while since we've had some snow, but it's good to get whatever we can. So um, two inches puts a freshens things up a little bit for us. It does, it mm -hmm. does, especially since it's not brutally cold. It's like nice in the 30s, great day to go it's to really Copper nice. and get some skiing in. Exactly. And mm -hmm. not only skiing over there at Copper, you guys always have a ton of great events going on. Tell me what's going on that we, we can do. expect. We do. So this week, um, kind of through from now, it started on the 1st and now through the 11th, um, we have a competition called the Noram Cup happening. Um, so that's actually a really big event um, for those who may not be aware. Um, it's some of the best alpine skiers in the world. Um, they are on the Speed Center doing all sorts of different disciplines in alpine skiing. Um, so they are trying to earn points towards qualification, um, not necessarily for the Olympics, but their rankings around the world. So um, that's on the Speed Center. Um, and along with that, we do have some terrain closures happening over there. But, you know, we encourage everyone to come out to, you know, cheer on these athletes. But we also have some um, different terrain groomed and available for our guests. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. So that sounds really fun. You guys always have, you have a lot of competitions going on over there at Copper, don't you? We do. And, you know, that's something that we do on purpose. We, um, you know, we're really proud to host these people. And our whole goal is to kind of cultivate these athletes towards becoming Olympic champions or world champions. So it's really cool to watch and see how Copper plays a part in, in their training. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So people definitely want to go stop by for that. Yes. It's February, Valentine's Day. Is, Valentine's Day. Is it next week? The week after? Uh, soon. Yes, what week guys, after. <laughs> what are you guys doing fun for Valentine's Day? Uh, so next weekend we have our Valentine's themed Moonlight Dine and Ski. So Moonlight Dine and Skis, we started those last year. And they are um, basically the our guests um, head up to um, Solitude Station, Mid Mountain, on the American Eagle Lift. Have a great buffet dinner um, at Solitude Station Gourmet. Uh, and then they get to ski down under the stars and the moonlight back to Center Village. Um, but then this time too, we allow, we're gonna allow our guests to do some laps on Copperopolis and on Accelerator Lift. So a little bit more of a skiing element too, which is really fun. Yeah, and if you haven't been skiing at night, it's, it's a whole different experience. <laughs> yes, yeah, so this will actually be, since you know Copper doesn't have any night skiing, this right. will be um, mm -hmm. kind of at sunset, or it'll be a really oh, cool, perfect. exclusive, um, you know, just for these, you know, about a hundred guests we bring up. So it'll be, it'll be a really cool experience. Awesome. So yeah. people can check out the competitions. They can have a really nice Valentine's Take your Valentine. Day. Take your Valentine to dinner. Take your Valentine <laughs> to dinner. Mm -hmm. um, but you also have, um, you have something basically for everyone, like bike enthusiasts. You guys we do. Are doing for the bikers too. Yes. Yep. So we have our sixth annual winter bike coming up um, after that, February 18th. So. Um, that's a weekend full of fat biking, fat bike demos, um, the main event, our race. It's a, it's a night um, bike race around our village area. So um, it's really cool to see, you know, everyone with their headlamps get at night going around the village, um, you know, on the snow. So it's a, it's a really exciting event. And again, going along with that trend that's really exploded with fat biking in the winter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So... The competition is Valentine's, so if you're romantic, you can do Valentine's Day. If you like yep. biking, you can go biking. Yes. <laughs> you can also go tubing. Yes. For the non-skiers or people who want to take a break from skiing. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about that. <laughs> uh, so we have our tubing hill in East Village. Uh, it's always a ton of fun, again, for non-skiers or riders, um, or even if you wanted to take the family after a day of skiing. Uh, so that is, you know, right at the base of the Super B lift, right near Copper Station, so you can um, head out for an hour of tubing or more if you're really feeling ambitious and you want to spend more time out there. Uh, but then grab some dinner at JJ's, which is a, a great restaurant on the resort. Um, hot cocoa, um, you know, just hang out and enjoy the mountain, not skiing and snowboarding. Yeah, so over at Copper mm -hmm. Mountain, you guys have thought of everyone. There's something for everyone. So if somebody wants to find out more about everything that you have going on over there, how can they find out more? Uh, coppercolorado.com. Everything's right there, and we have um, our new mobile app, too. So we have a lot of information there as well. 
Cool. Simple mm -hmm. as that. CopperColorado.com. Yep. Well, Steph, as always, it's great to have you on the show. Thanks so much for telling Thanks us for all about me. Copper. Mm -hmm. You definitely want to head on over to Copper. Like Steph said, there's something for the entire family. It's a really great time. Um, but we are going to take a short break. We still have a ton of Summit Sunrise in store for you. Leah is live over at VitaFlow in Breckenridge. So we'll be checking in with her. We have Watch and Win coming up later. We'll, we will be giving away two Blue River treatments to VitaFlow. So you want to stay tuned for that. And we'll tell you more about what you can do here while you're in Summit County. We're going to take a short break, but don't go anywhere because we'll be right back. <laughs>